Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So if you've got an eating disorder, we all know that we have, it gives, it makes us follow certain food rules. Um, and a lot of my food rules are around, you know, like measuring things out, portioning things. And, you know, we, we, we all have certain rules that the eating disorder makes us follow. And I, it's hard to break them. Um, so I'm just going to, this video is just going to follow me, um, doing breaking some of my food rules um and that's largely around measuring things out i mean i still do measure things out but i will have extra on top of that so i'll measure something out and then have a bit extra um and that's just my way of progressing my recovery in the steps that work for me um because you know a few years ago i would have to measure out so so precisely to the exact number anything that i was having and i could not possibly eat outside of that you know even to the point where you know i don't know i'd be cooking carrots and i'd be chopping up the raw carrot and i couldn't even possibly eat a carrot like a slice of carrot because it was not allowed it was you know outside of my allowed food so for me it's been a, like i have had to challenge myself in allowing myself food that's not quantified that's you know outside of my my eating disorder considered allowed food and I have worked on it a lot over the past year or so and I have got a lot better to the point now where I will have extra bits of food um or drink or un, un unmeasured things and I'll be all right with it I wouldn't say it's comfortable you know there will be times where I think oh god you know I've had a little bit extra um but then it's kind of you know rationalizing with yourself that that is allowed you know it's the eating disorder making you think you can't do that and who wants to live a life where you have to measure out every single thing to the exact precise gram or mil or whatever so yeah this is my video showing you some just a few things some of the things where I you know break my eating disorder food rules um hopefully it will inspire you to break some of your food rules or can relate to anything i'm saying so most days i will have a protein chocolate drink which i love um and i'll i'll measure it out so that i you know i'm, I'm having the right amount and i'll drink my right amount for breakfast as i am today from my cup but then whilst i'm you know i've measured it out i will also like I'll be measuring it out and then I'll have a quick drink. Just the odd swig while I'm doing it. Um, and that may seem really small, but for me, you know, a couple of years ago or even, I don't know, one year ago, I would have to measure it out and that would be all I could possibly have. I couldn't be a millimetre, a millilitre over. I do want to be able to move away from measuring things at all um but for now at this where i am you know i i still feel like i need to have my measured bit but then for me to be able to have the extra bits as well is important and i think it, you know it's i have to remind myself that it's normal you know when people do often have things they'll have extra bits while they're do, having whatever they're having um so it's kind of reminding yourself that it's okay and it's normal and you don't need to feel guilty and actually the more you keep challenging it the easier it gets and another thing so as i say i normally have chocolate flavor but i recently thought oh, i'll try a new flavor and it's mocha flavor because when i used to have the actual real ensure a lot i used to sometimes chocolate was always my favorite but i would occasionally have coffee flavored and it was all right so i thought oh i'll try mocha flavor no it's not for me it's really really strong and whilst I can still have a swig, it's, it's all right, but it's not my favorite. But again, that's another thing where often when you have an eating disorder, you feel like all your food has to be perfect. Like it has to be the optimum, the best temperature, the best taste, the most wonderful experience. But yeah, I think for me, it's learning that, you know, food isn't going to be wonderful all of the time. And you know this mocha flavored protein drink it's it's not the best but i can still drink it and i don't you know i wouldn't throw it away so i, I am drinking it and it's also that's another like eating disorder rule challenge that you know your food doesn't have to be perfect you can just have food that's 
all right or not great and you don't have to optimize every eating or drinking experience and that is something I have struggled with a lot in the past I did used to feel like everything when I ate it had to be the best perfect I had to be in the right situation I had to save everything it would be a waste of calories if it wasn't the best the most tasty the most loveliest but now I am like do you know what it you know you, food is food you know sometimes it's all right sometimes it's great sometimes it's not great but you just that's just normal life um so yeah as i say drinking this having this protein drink and drinking while drinking outside of the measured portion is something i've been doing a lot recently and it is getting easier and it's just breaking that rule that you can only have x number of meals or x number of grams of anything so another like counting rule measuring rule that I regularly break is with my lunch so often for my lunch I'll have like crackers and cottage cheese I love cottage cheese and I only recently discovered that I love it like for years I was like I hate cheese I hate anything like that but I love cottage cheese so so I, yeah I have three crackers like this I have two of one type one of another that is a corn one and it is really good um so yeah I have three cat crackers and I'll have cottage cheese on them but while I'm putting the cottage cheese you know I'll I'll be breaking like a bit of cracker off like you can see this one's been broken and I'll just you know I'll be putting my cottage cheese on and eating the cracker while I'm doing it and you know I don't measure the extra amount that I'm having because then obviously you're still measuring it so I, but if I allow myself three crackers and then I'll you know break whatever I don't know three quarters of a cracker and eat that as extra you're still measuring that three quarters so I literally just have whatever I fancy while I'm putting my cottage cheese on and yeah that is another way for me to kind of break that rigid habit of having to have everything measured and to be allowing yourself to have extras um, and hopefully over time you know you still keep allowing yourself it's not even extras but allowing yourself not to have to so rigidly count every single thing that you're having because the only way you're going to break away from that is to break that rule break that eating disorder rule which everything has to be measured which eating these bits of cracker while I'm doing my lunch is hopefully a step towards that and to kind of highlight how rigid I used to be about this and having only ever having anything that was quantified and measured and within my kind of meal plan as such so now in the fridge we generally keep like a bowl of melon I love melon and you know throughout the day I'll just come and have a bit if I fancy a bit but previously I couldn't even have done that you know I couldn't even have had a, a tiny chunk of melon because that would have been not allowed that was oh my god how dare you you could never ever do that you could never eat that because that's not within your quantified amount so my food intake used to be so so tightly controlled that I couldn't even eat you know a square of melon or a slice of carrot so for me to now you know go have extra drinks of chocolate protein drink and have extra crackers and all the other bits that I do now is progress and it may seem like oh you know may seem like oh well, she's not really recovering but it is it's just I'm doing it my way and in the stages that help me and hopefully you know if you want to think that you might benefit from doing it like I've done it then go for it I would you know recommend the only way you're going to break those rules is to challenge them and if you have to do them in little bits like I'd have done then go for it because like even like now you know having having the protein drink extra having the crackers extra it doesn't really bother me at all um it's kind of normal for me to do that now um so there is my prepared lunch my crackers and cottage cheese um which i was nibbling on the crackers whilst i was making it and as you can see i've still got some crackers that i'm nibbling on and i also have beetroot and cucumber with it and again a couple of years ago in the past i'd have had to have you know measured out all the beetroot and known exactly what i was having whereas calorie wise so that it was measured in but you know now i just have what i want and you know i really enjoy it so another um eating disorder food measuring rule that I try and break regularly is with my evening snack so tonight for my evening snack I'm having Retabix protein crunch cereal I love this um and I have it normally a couple of times a week probably and so I'll weigh out the amount that I'm having which I'm doing now so I'm weighing it out but 
whilst I'm measuring it all out, I will like I'll eat bits as I'm measuring, so I'll just have a nibble of the cereal as I'm measuring it out. And I do eat more than that normally when I'm measuring it out, it's just it's difficult for me to talk to you and do it. But yeah, I measure it out and I have quite a big bowl. It's normally um we're pretty much to the top. So yeah, that's the amount that I measure out that I have a full bowl. And as I say, I do like eat it as I'm going. It's just difficult to do when I'm talking to the camera. But then in addition to that, so I have my measured out portion. And then I also have two other cereals that I add to it. So I have this cereal and this cereal, although it can be any cereal really, I'm not too bothered. And I'll just add several handfuls to my bowl. Um, that's not measured, that is just, and I say handfuls, you know, I don't measure it at all. It's just, I load on what I want. And so I'm going to add some more in eventually. But so yeah, I just, I fill my bowl up to how I want it. Obviously I have the measured chocolate cereal underneath and then the extra cereal on top. And then also with that, I have a yogurt and I'll put some of this cereal on top. Again, unmeasured, obviously the yogurt, I know the portion amount, but the cereal is extra, which I try not to measure or count or include. And this, this is a big one for me. And it's something that I have struggled with a lot. And I, I would say I probably do still struggle with in the sense that I do feel guilty when I do it and I do think oh my god you know you've had all this extra cereal that you've not counted or measured or included and often I you know I'll I'll have it you know I really enjoy it and then I think oh, I shouldn't have done that I feel really guilty really stressed really anxious and then you know I might go to bed and I'll think you can't ever do that again you know you shouldn't have done that and then I try and say to myself why shouldn't I have done that? You know, do I really want to spend the rest of my life only ever being able to eat cereal that is measured out and weighed and to the right, and to my eating disorder right amount? That's no one else's right amount other than the rule that I've made in my head that it's the right amount. And I have been doing this for a while, so having the cereal and adding the extra, and it has got easier, but I wouldn't say it's become easy in the sense of the stress and the guilt that comes along with it and the reaction afterwards but I always still repeat doing it and I think that's because you know you do have to feel that rubbish feel that stress feel that anxiety and keep going through it because it's the only way you're ever gonna break away from it because as I said we don't I don't want to spend the rest of my life only ever being able to have a measured bowl of cereal like that's not the life I want I want to be able to move away from numbers move away from weights and calories and this is a way for me to be able to start to do that hopefully and also you know often at work some of my colleagues have cereal for breakfast and they just pour the cereal into the bowl and eat it and I look at them and I think wow what a wonderful freeing experience that must be to be able to just pour a bowl of cereal into a bowl and eat it without measuring it or weighing it and I know in essence I am not in essence but in part I am doing that in the fact that some of my most of my bowl is weighed but there and there is stuff added onto it and ultimately that is where I want to be I want to be pouring my cereal into the bowl and just having what I want and the thing is you know as, as I say with the cereal that I have now where I measure it and then add the extra and I feel guilty for that the extra that I've added, I start to think to myself, the reason I'm feeling guilty for the extra that I've added is because of the rule that my eating disorder has, is which is that I have to have a weighed amount, a particular weighed amount that is a particular amount of calories. Whereas if I just allowed myself to have a bowl of cereal, I would probably have the same amount of cereal that I have but I wouldn't have the stress as much of the stress and the guilt that accompanied it because I wouldn't be thinking that I had to have a particular amount which I was breaking that rule of. It's only because I've got that rule that is causing the stress. Whereas if I had a rule that I could just have a bowl of cereal, 
I would have the bowl of cereal the same amount, which would be what I wanted, and that would be okay. The things that I've shown you today are thing you know they're not just things that I would do like one of them once a day you know I've done them all throughout the one day so I've had the extra protein drink I've had the extra crackers I've had the extra cereal you know that is something I'm doing on a regular basis across the whole day as opposed to just doing one a day because often when you start trying to break food rules you end up developing new food rules food rules and it's you can find yourself getting stuck in breaking one food rule but actually making another so I think it's really important that you just keep trying to break whatever rules are there and as I say my, my biggest food rules are around measuring and quantifying and calories and numbers so this video is really to show me trying to challenge my biggest food rule and how I do that on a regular basis and hopefully it can help inspire you and you know reminder that this isn't the only food that I've eaten in the day it's just to highlight the, the main things where I try and tackle my eating disorder rules and again the things I've shown in this video today aren't the only you know measuring eating disorder food rules that I break they're just because they're what I've done today they're what I've shown you but I do do others but I just thought it'd be easier to show you what I've done in a day hopefully you liked the video you found it helpful um please like it subscribe write a comment and thank you for watching